Peekaboo reveals the truth about Zaryu and the hardcore devs. Guys, I had a phone call with Zar. He was telling me, like, he's, sent, he's sending the, the owners of the hardcore add-on. He's sending them fucking flowers. He's talking to them daily. I don't think it's the flowers. I think it's just the, the cash more than anything that they like. I mean, he's buddy-buddy he's with these people, man. I mean, I, I think they even were at his wedding. It's crazy. No, they did it's it. fucking crazy. I don't know if that was supposed to be a... No, no, no. They, they weren't at the wedding, but yeah, just hella cash. Yeah, tons of cash. Secret, but yeah, the creators of the hardcore add-on were actually invited to his fucking wedding. It no, was, the wedding thing was a rumor. It was all planned out all, all this time. It was crazy. So he, he, he's been able to appeal everything. Yeah. He can't appeal anymore. Oof. Hammer may fall. Items of power. Items of power. Items of power. Crystal of mountains. Princess trapped. And Ranzina in the 1v2 situation. Witch Doctor runs and falls. Ranzina about 50% life against the full health level 34. Boulder Fist Enforcer. Big damage connects, but Ranzina knows. Tops himself off preemptively with the Holy Light. Big miss, though, on the two-handed swing. Another big demoralizing shout comes out. 68 less attack power here for the Retribution Paladin. Swaps up blessings to the Wisdom. Nice forethought here from Ranzina going out of mana. It's going to be very clutch. Returning that mana pool to him. The Enforcer's getting low, but so is Ranzina. They're trading blows. Who's going to come out on top? Looks like Ranzina's taking a slight lead here. What's the Enforcer going to do? He's on the back foot. Looks like nothing. Oh, one more miss comes in. Could be a crit. There it is. The Enforcer falls and Ranzina successfully taking out the Witch Doctor and the Enforcer in the clutch 1v2 situation. There's a 60 Shaman. It's the first level 60 I've seen in, in game, I think. I don't think I've seen a 60 in game until this guy. It's the first one. Holy shit. Slash sheer. Wow. Wow, dude. First 60 I've seen. Shamoon. All right. Gather 10 totem sticks and use them at the Stone of Outer Binding. When I use this, does it summon something or is it just... Does it, do I just get it? I, I'm a little nervous. It does? Okay. Um. Oh, and there's no summon? Okay, so we're vibing. Congrats on the baby. Our daughter was born almost two weeks ago. He's clumped. Oh, wait. I have to click on it. Wait. Oh, yeah, here we go. I almost left it there. I almost left it. <laughs> that would have sucked if I freaking... I just threw it there and left and peaced out, dude. All right. I have the jade, I think, in my bank. So we can go back to Tabitha. But first, let's grab this fly path. Hey, yo, dead. All right, one sec. Let me kill this mob, then we'll take a look. Wait, how the hell is... Why is he in this situation? <laughs> yeah, Bo, run. Oh, I'm needing... Yep, just, good, good. Just run. Unless... No, 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 don't get greedy. Whoa, help! What do you mean, unless? Just get out. Don't get dazed. Don't get dazed. Oh, my God. No, wait. No, way! I'm so fucking bad, it's insane. <laughs> Bro, he called it. He's like, yo, I'm gonna get out. And then he goes, unless. It's like, no, 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 no. That's greed right there. You know, it happens to the best of us. It really does, Peo. Oh, it... Yeah, see? Unless. No, 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 no. Peo, no, Peo, listen to me, bro. Just get out. Joker just died in ZG. I don't believe you. There's no way. Joker's dead? Wait, hold on. Am I getting intricately trolled? Or are you guys serious? There's no way. Hold on, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. I need to move my camera to, like, not here. Like, let's move my camera here. Because I need to see this damage on Patricia's number one damage. And the threat is at 77%. Fucking twice in a row, man. Joker, what's the Oh, no. Oh, my God. No way. Oh. Hold on, let's see the thread again. I have to go back. Patricia did overcome threat on Hellspawn. So we got aggro when the boss is at 3%. He gets taken to half and then just gets hit twice and dies. The boss is at 1%. He doesn't even realize it yet.
He still doesn't realize. There he goes. There he realizes. Oh, no. He took it really well. Bro. Oh my god. No way. Bro. No oh, way. Man. What? Oh. What happened? No sh- I even told you to watch that one. It updated late? I was a one- Drake's got case. Fucking twice in a row, man. Who's this? Oh no. Sorry, bro. I, I don't know what to say, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, Joker is actually dead. I'm not getting trolled. Joker is dead. Joker is dead. He pulled threat and got one tapped. Uh, bro, I just realized I was AFK in this cave watching that clip for like three minutes. <laughs> and now we have respawns all around. <laughs> Perfect. I told him to start pre-lipping. He doesn't realize what he's doing. He has the best weapon. He, he doesn't have the best weapon anymore. Uh, like, he probably has... What what weapon the warriors start with in Elwyn Forest again? Is it like a claymore or something? I don't know if that's considered the best weapon. Pop quiz. Rules. You can't use or uh, any help in or out of the game. You have two minutes to answer. If you answer correctly, collect your prize. Question. What is the level of the last boss, Mutinous the Devourer, in the Dungeon Wailing Caverns? Okay, so it's... Uh, it's it's either 24 or 23 or 22. Let me think. Shit. It's one of those. I'm thinking. I'm not looking at chat. Twenty-three is my final answer. Twenty-three. Damn it! I knew that. I should have went with 22. I was like on the I was on the edge, man, of 22 versus 23. I think I have a shade in my bank, maybe. I do. Perfect. All right. So we'll we'll take the jade to Tabitha, and I think the follow up is Scarlet Monastery. Hey, Tabitha. Mage's wand. Wait, I'm already done with the quest. Oh, I thought I had to do Scarlet Monastery now. Hell yeah, boys. Should we, we go with Rage Fire, right? Yeah, fire. I always get the ice one, but now I get the fire one. That's 1.4 speed, 37.1 DPS. Massive upgrade. Let's go. I never got this one before. I've always, I've always played Frost. Oh, sick. This thing gives me nine fire spell damage, bro. It's like the biggest upgrade world. Nine? Oh, baby. Oh, I need to test this thing out. Wait, so what about... Wasn't there a quest in Scarlet Monastery? Oh, no, I did the Scarlet Monastery portion yesterday. Wait, so what quest do I need for SM right now, then? I guess I still just need the Desolus one. Okay, so we'll go to Desolus right now. All right, yo, chat. Um, I, I think we're just gonna go do Scarlet Monastery then. And then we'll do Desolus later. I thought Desolus had the prequest. Is there any other prequest on Horde? I literally just run SM? That's it? Alright, boys. If you wanna come to Scarlet Monastery, send me a whisper. Let's do this thing. Undercity. I'm feeling really comfortable with a double warrior group. I'm not kidding. Warriors are insane. My boy Payne is super hyped and afraid he is gonna mess up on healing him talking to him in Discord. He's in your group BTW. Love the stream road to 405 bench. Malachi, thanks for the $5 tip. Yo, Payne, is this true? You're freaking out? You're not giving me much confidence, Payne. What do you mean you're freaking out? What do you mean? We're doing Scarlet Monastery, man. Should be a walk through the park. What's going on? We're good. Oh my gosh. Now you're making me sus because the priest is sus. Duel to the death, my hunter. Just don't accept or else I'll have to find a new hunter. <laughs> or a new mage. Dude, there's no way. He's actually going to do it? No fucking way! 
Oh my gosh, I could actually die right now. No fucking way. He's actually doing it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, he canceled it. Oh my gosh. Bro, I was sitting up straight for a second there, man. Oh. Tybo, you got me going. Okay, I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> Oh, that would have been a little sus. Would I have lost? Hold on, let's do the duel. Let's see who would have won. Holy shit, dude. Let's just the normal duel, normal duel. Let's just see. Let's see what would have happened. Let's see who would have been dead. I already messed up. Oh my gosh, I would have been dead, bro. That's like my third resist. What the hell? Are we health potting this or no? Yeah, we'll send it. We'll send it. We'll send the health pot just to see, like, you know, because I would have, I would have sent the health pot in the Makara, obviously. Normally, potting in a duel. Okay, so we would have won. Oh man, that, that would have been scared. I would have had a lot of nerves on that, bro. Cause that was a close ass duel. We're gonna start with GY, then live, then arms, then Kaz. We're gonna start slow and then we're gonna ramp up. Let me just drink up the full real quick before we pull the boss. One sec boys, just drinking up to full. I'm drinking. Just give me one second on the pull. I'm half mana, just give me another. Oh, oh okay. Hmm. I think Witch's Finger is better than this. What do, you, what do you guys think? Witch's Finger or the Forgotten Seer? I swear Witch's Finger is actually better. I'm greeting it, dude. All right, boys. Well, no one died. <laughs> Does anyone die in GY? No. Okay, next up. Does anyone die in SM Lib? Yes or no? You have five minutes to predict this time, all right? Five minutes. Lib, you know, gets a little harder. Little harder. It's still not too bad. I've, I have seen some people die in lib from time to time, so you never know. Dude, this is why I brought in two warriors. Look at that. Are you kidding me? We could probably pull this entire room, no cap. I don't think we need anything in library. We needed pretty much nut. Well, in graveyard, we actually kind of wanted Azir the Sleepless to spawn. Maybe for like the neck or the... I guess I don't need the wand. Uh, no, I guess we really just wanted... Fallen Champion to spawn for the Embalm Shroud because that helm is nutty. You guys are over leveled a bit. I mean, we're over leveled for GY, maybe for Lib, but I would not say we're over leveled for Arms or Kath. I mean, I'm only 38. Zayu, I died at level 12 in Skull Rock. I didn't realize the that the bosses spawned back so quickly. Yep. I feel like I killed the boss and it spawned five seconds later. Yep. It's nuts. I didn't realize. Yep. That, that's the classic, the, 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 the freaking respawns, man. The absolute classic. Oh shit, that actually hit me. Thought I was out of range. Grats on ding, bro, grats on ding. Illusionary Rod, Creed, Robe of Dawn, Creed. Okay, perfect, let's get the hell out of here. This is our first arms on this character. Okay, we have not done arms yet. We're gonna do arms and then cathedral. We're going four for four on the SM today, boys. Full runs. Classic plus is basically taking classic and then expanding on it. So like a new timeline, so to speak. Instead of going to TBC, you would like go to something else. Put in a new raid. You could even keep the max level at 60 if you wanted. You could do Balancing changes, quality of life updates, new raid. Yeah, yeah, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably would play. That sounds too fun not to. <laughs> what changes would I want to see from Classic Plus? 
Um, probably like the main thing for me would be quality of life. I think dual spec or even trio spec would be really cool. So that you could have uh, more than one spec. I think uh, a new raid and new dungeons would be like a, a must for sure. I think having more talents like extended talent trees to some degree like people were saying with like pally crusader strike etc i think some quality of life like uh, i'm trying to remember like enchanters not needing all the rods they could be just one rod instead of four like stuff like that I'm trying to think more of like the intricacies what, what would you guys want to see with classic plus like you don't want to go too far if you go too far it's just retail and it's like tr like you know you don't want that you want it to stay very classic like but have quality of life that would actually be nice it's a really 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 hard conversation to have like what should classic plus have it's like well i think ultimately a lot of people are afraid of too much change in classic because it ruins it which i think is a very fair thing to be afraid of it's like the reason we all like classic is because they haven't changed anything and it's just the game in its purest form so it's like, okay, classic plus, cool, right? It's like, well, okay, well, what do you actually change? Because anything you change, that's going to piss off someone, probably. All right, how about this? <clears throat> Would you guys want dual spec and classic plus, yes or no? Dual spec and classic plus, yes or no? Yes, 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 okay. Would you guys want AoE loot? So instead of having to loot each mob individually, you just loot and it's like AoE. AoE loot, yes or no? That one seems kind of 50-50, but I think I see more yeses. Would you guys want new raids in Classic Plus? Yes or no? Yeah, so that's the one obvious one. I haven't seen a single no, pretty much. So, new raids with small quality of life updates is probably what it would be. Would you guys want balance changes in Classic Plus? Yes or no? Yes, 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 yes. It seems like the majority of people would. Like, making more tanks viable, making more healers viable, making more DPS classes viable. What about if they only did buffs? Like, they buffed the things that were underperforming, they didn't nerf anything. So it's not like if you were a warrior, your DPS would be nerfed in a raid. But the underperforming classes, maybe like a rep pally, would get buffed. That would be better, right? Only buffs to like the underperforming things. No nerfs anywhere. That would be nice, right? What about mounts at 20 or 40? I mean, I know already without even asking. Yo, ch yo, chat. Would you guys rather have mounts at 20 or 40 in Classic Plus? Say 20 or 40. Yeah, like everyone's gonna say 40. Yeah. That was an obvious one, I think. Like, yeah. The thing is. There's quality of life, but on the same, on the other side of the same coin, there's like purposefully keeping things restricted because it's good game design. So the question becomes, okay, well, how do you increase quality of life without keeping things purposefully slow and difficult because that's what makes good game design. And I think that same argu argument can be made for like dual spec. It's like, wait a minute. It's part of the game design to only have one spec and then you have to spend 50 gold to respec, and that's a gold sink. Without those 50 gold gold sinks, people would have too much gold, making the rest of the game easier. And like, I think there's a fair argument to be made for that, right? Here, here's what would probably happen. You wanna know what I think would happen, chat? Blizzard comes out with Classic Plus. People are stoked and play it for six months. Six months later, everybody that liked Classic is back on Classic Era, saying that Blizzard ruined it. Just saying. Just saying. Am I, am I wrong, chat? Like, I'm pretty sure it's exactly what would happen if Blizzard released Classic Plus, dude. I'm just saying. We're coming up to Herod, boys. Man, this place sucks for a mage. There's only one boss. And it's all like uh, male loots. We could have just skipped this place, man. Oh, I need it for the quest. Never mind. We need this place. All right, boys. We got Herod. Herod, Herod, Herod. Good luck, warriors. Good luck on your loot. 
Oh, is that line of sight? Oh no, it is, huh? Oh, it isn't. Perfect. 200 damage on that pyroblast. Nice. Blades of light! I'm gonna time this right. Watch this right now. Watch that. I'm timing it. No, I just did that, dude! Are you kidding me? It was like a second early, man. That was almost perfect. That's it. That's it. We got the timing on it. Clip it and ship it. It's right there. Big pirate. Shoulder. That thing is sick. Oh shit, ads, 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 ads! Forgot. <laughs> tabard, 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 tabard. Give me the tabard. Tabard, tabard. Tabard! That's it! That's armory. Onwards to the cathedral. Alright, guys, I'm gonna need three and a half minutes to get the full mana. Give me a sec. Almost a full mana. Oh, okay. Let me just rebuff our group real quick. Anyone need some water? You can just open trade. Alright, back to zero mana. Alright, let me just uh quickly get back to full here. Any upgrades to this SM run? Nothing, man. Although the only loot I need is from High Inquisitor White Main. I need the helm really bad. Or the neck really bad. I kind of want this helm, dude. I would love this helm. Blizzard. When I said Crusades was the best pack, why did you say Crusades? We're talking WoW's packs. LOL TBC is called Crusades. I've, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone call TBC Crusades. Am I crazy? Never, never, no one says that. Okay, there we go. Yo, chat's backing me up for once. The burning, wait, Crusades. I've never heard it called Crusades. The burning crusade. I guess that kind of makes sense. Blades of light. Arise, my champion. At your side, my lady. Resist. Oh, that heal actually went off. Oh, the bubbles through too. I got an Evo. A little overconfident there a sec, dude. Okay, we got one down. I don't think we're gonna level. That's okay though. Please give me the chapow. Give me the chapow. Give me the chapow. All right, we gotta win the roll though, I guess. Oh, this thing is so sick, dude. Look at that. Come on. One time, Blizzard. One time, Blizzard. One time. I will never ask you for any other loot. Oh, pain. Oh. Oh. Bro! Oh, gosh. Oh! Oh, okay, yo, how much for that, Tybo? I like that cap. That's just as good as the Chapow, Kapow, almost. He said 50 silver. Chat, worth? You guys think that's worth for 50 silver? Over 19 fire spell damage. Of course. Okay, I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> I look so silly. <laughs> look at me, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey guys, are you here? All right, I'm gonna go teleport to the Undercity because I'm a mage. Am I gonna ding off this? I might ding off this chat. Woo! Level 39. Oh my goodness, we got the prophetic cane as well. This thing is fire. We're gonna have this probably to level 70, man. Next expansion. It's gonna be great. All right, we're going to Terran Mill and we'll run over here. And I'll do like a quest or two of the Stromboli.
Okay, I should probably mail. I have 12 gold on this tune, right? I'm gonna mail Shannon Bank. Let's mail Shannon Bank like six, just in case. And then you know, let's actually log out. Look at our sick ass transmog on the character window and then log in the Shannon Bank and see how we're doing. How we doing Shannon Bank? How we doing? What are we looking like? Seventy. We're at seventy. That's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. Oh yeah, I'm at seventy six. You're right. These sell for seven silver per. Or they vendor for eight. What the hell? I'm just gonna vendor them. Medium leather, these sell for, okay, I'm just gonna vendor this too. Bro, what? Elemental water. Bro, what? I'm just gonna vendor this too. Elemental fire. Okay, I'll actually sell these. That's that's a decent, that's a decent enough profit. Bro, everything is just vendor price, man. Thundering charms. Okay, yeah, these go for a decent amount. 30 silver each. I'll split them up into stacks of ones. Those are singulars. We'll sell them for 29 silver. What a freaking bargain, man. If you're a warrior, pick those up quick. Burning charms, 48 silver. Yeah, no one wants to kill the burning boys. Here, I'll sell it for 38, dude. Jeez, what an undercut. What an absolute steal. Okay, I'm gonna vendor everything else. Time for a vendor, boys. 70 G on the bank alt, so I need 20 more, plus enough for my training, and I'm at 39. Oh my gosh, I actually might not have enough gold. <laughs> I thought I was fine on gold. I actually might not have, not have enough gold on my freaking. Oh my god, dude. Baron Vardas. Whoa! Inferno robe increases damage by fire by up to 23. Is that even good? This guy invited me to a group. Nah, I'm a solo self-founder, bro. Sorry. If you have anything to sell me, though, I'll buy it. Oh, hello. I buffed him with intellect. <laughs> Enjoy your intellect, Okri! <laughs> oh my god. That guy was flying his bat right at me, man. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, wanted Baron Vardis. Kill Baron Vardis and deliver his head to High Executor Darthalia in the Terran Mill. 23 fire damage to chest. I don't even know if that's good or bad. But let's do it. Baron! Oh, look, a little stealthy boy. Hello, I come in peace. Not really. I don't know if he's upstairs or down. I guess we, uh, guess we going for the clear. Just need about 10 minutes to get full mana here. Okay. Still not 60. No, I'm 60. I'm just using an overlay to make it look like I'm low level and I'm leveling still. I'm, an, I'm using an overlay for my experience bar and an overlay right here to say 39. Um, and I'm using an add-on to make it look like uh, these are green mobs, but. Yeah, no, I'm 60. Oh! Hee <laughs> Surgical accuracy, man. Baron! Okay. Oh hello, we got a, we got a stealthy boy here, a baron here, and a mage here. That's that's a that's an easy one v three, right? Actually, I could probably pull the stealthy boy, but without pulling baron. Yeah. Okay. 
So now there's a shadow mage and a baron boy. Chat, we're all feeling good about this? 07? No, no, no. Right, seriously, are we feeling good about this? Okay. Oh, shit. I, I didn't mean to aggro this one, but... Bro, it's literally gonna be a 1v1. Easy claw. Oh, whoa, Argus Mage. Relax, relax. Create your next Pyroblast for a Twitch Prime sub. Okay, okay. Let's go in for the gold. This is for the Twitch Prime. Against Baron, going in for a big crit. Big crit. Big. That was a crit. You just couldn't. You could just couldn't see because he was a sheep. Actually, no, it wasn't because the ignite. Guys, Baron got one shot. Baron got legit one shot. Are you kidding me? Rusted iron key. Find where gold deer is being held. Do you guys see any rusty keys? Let me know. Just type one in the chat if you see the key. Actually, better yet, if you see the key, uh, just Twitch Prime, so I'll I'll know. Right, it'll send me an alert. Squirter, no! I need the, yeah! I got the key. I got him. Oh shit. Yo, 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 Squirter, I need, I need, need your help here. Yo, that was a little sussy. Invite him, guys, he's a, Squirter's Alliance. Nova line of sight wand into the cannibalize. This guy's just mind blown right now. He's never seen this before. Boom, around the corner again. He just can't believe it. He just can't believe the mechanics. It's not happening, buddy. It's not happening. Rojo. Dun da da. Okay, we got three quests to complete. Let's go back. Inferno robes, 22 damage or nine int and nine stamina. Oh my gosh, I actually don't know. All right guys, one's in the chat for durable robe of the eagle, two's in the chat for inferno robe. I actually think the eagle one's better. Sigil of the Storm. Get the Sigil of the Storm for Zangu. In ancient times, trolls fought against the Erythorian Empire and our most capable adversary, Lord Igneous of the Stromboli, named Trollbane. He rode in the battle wielding Trollkalar, the Troll Slayer, in their ancient tongue. But now, the sons of Trollbane are weakened and their stronghold brought to ruin. Their sword is protected by several sigils that were divided amongst the survivors of Stromboli Keep, and we must retrieve them. The first was taken by the Syndicate, and one of their men in Stromgard have it. Don't worry, leave the rest to me. I don't know if it's a good idea to do this quest at 39. I, normally I was thinking I would wait till 40 for combustion, but... You guys think we're vibing at 39 on this? To kill Merez? Oh no, there's a patrol right there. No, no, wait, no, seriously, are we fine? You're good? No, no, no. I feel like we're totally chill. Hey, I got the sigil of the strong bully, dude. All right, now we just need the, the befouled bloodstone orb. Bro, what the hell is going on? Why am I in combat from those mobs? Blizzard! Uh, 
No, 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 no. Don't take my damn... Don't take my damn kill. That's my Stromboli, man. Leave it alone. Bro, 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 bro. No, 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 no. Oh, yo, I can maybe just... Just run up there and snag it. <gasps> yo, Merez is right there. Yo, yo. Yo, check. How hard is Merez? I'm good, right? Like, I've done it on Frost. It shouldn't be that much har harder on fire, right? Yo, 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 yo. Don't steal my damn mob. I'm drinking the full. No! Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna help you. He's in a group. We need this guy, but there's a bunch of stealth ads. I wonder if I can kill this one without a bugging out. For science? Yeah, see? It's not bugging out because he's casting on me. Oh, he can run up here anyway? Yeah, I'll just counterspell him. Yeah. Nah? Oh, shit! I'm jumping. Not smart, not smart. Not smart. I'm out! Wait, I can still probably kill him, right? Yo, the guy's running in fear. Are you kidding me? Bro! Dude, how do I have aggro, man? Oh, hell yeah. I'll just kill this. Okay. Dude, there's like a freaking raid. Okay. So what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna try to clear like one or two more and then go for Merez. Like that's gotta be the move. Merez, I've killed you as Frost. I never killed you on my warrior, I don't think. And now we're gonna kill you as fire. Good night. I wish I had combustion. Okay, yeah, I, I definitely wish I had combustion here, huh? <gasps> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Merez, follow me. I have something to show you. <laughs> it's outside of the keep, outside the walls, where there's no stealth mobs. What is it, you may ask? <laughs> I'll show you when we get there. Keep following me. Keep following me, Merez. Yeah, it's right around this corner over here. Yeah. It's right over here, Merez. Right past these gates. Right when you get out of your safety zone. Just keep looking at me. Keep your eyes on the prize, Merez. That's right. That's exactly what I wanted to show you. Perfect. Thanks for the ore, baby. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, boys. We got it done. I didn't even have to wait for Combust. Peace. Man, I'm really, like, attached to this character. I really don't want to die. We big homies are S. Look at those profs, man. Enchanting, tailoring. Like, we're getting up there, dude. Digging the tune. You like that? Look at that. Look at that. This is the Phelan strat. Oh, my God. Wait, run out, dude. You're going to die, man. No way. He Wait. What is he supposed to do? He's in there. Wait, is that a joke? He's going to die. Are you kidding me? He's stuck. Wait, is he gonna die? There's nothing he can do. You gotta be fucking kidding me. There's nothing he can do. Wait, can I... All right, come, 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 come. Hold come on, near on. the thing. Yo, pause, pause, pause. If, if this was you, what would you do? I mean, there's not like, the mistake was getting trapped, right? I'd cry. I mean, you can maybe chuck a target dummy in hearth. Light of a loon hearth, like, Come, I can deeps! Come, I can deeps! No, he can't. Oh, he can! Yeah! I can only auto attack. Oh, wait, oh nice! Nice! Wait, now we dead, dude. Oh my god. Wait, 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 I can, I can evasion. Uh -huh. No, no, come, come, give me the. Uh -huh. 
Yo, oh Peyo's gonna die! Wait, are you kidding me? Oh! <laughs> Bro, that was so a good thing you have a portal there, Peyo. You were about to die! He almost died! Peyo almost died, and someone in his group did die. Did everyone else, like, oh my gosh. Very smart mage. Oh my god. Did anyone else? The two others died too. Oh my god. Mage? Oh my gosh. Okay, the mage could have dropped the portal at the gate and they could have clicked it through. That's a little sad. Wait a minute. Bro, I can make myself a robe of power at 190. I'm 185. Yo! We just send the robe of power! Dude, I've never had a robe of power before that I've actually made myself. This is gonna be my first one ever. I'm excited. Oh, uh, this is about to be pure dopamine. <laughs> one minute of crafting for this robe of power. And then it'll be ours. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be such a great feeling. Oh, someone died right as I crafted that. I'm gonna put 25 health on it because it doesn't have any stamina. We'll balance it out with 25 HP. Robe of power, soul bound. Boom! Look at it, boys! Look at that! Alright, no dying on this mage, dude. No dying. No dying on this damn mage, man. I put so much time into this guy. My plate is two days, 11 hours. I'm level 39 and a half. I have pretty much enough gold to buy my mount, I think. First aid, 182. Tailoring, 191. Enchanting, 171. All right. All right, guys. I, uh, I, I've streamed way longer than Three I should. Three months already. Gee freaking geez. We'll be back tomorrow with some more gaming. If you guys enjoyed the stream, hit that follow button. Look at that, man. Tomorrow, we hit level 40. All right. We get our mount. We'll probably hit 41 even for combustion. We'll probably do Scarlet Monastery again for some fat loot. Maybe for, we'll get that Redman's Chapau. It'd be sick. Maybe we'll even do RFD. We'll do some more questing. We'll, we'll do Stranglethorn Veil. Vale. All the elites. It's going to be nuts. The levels. Professions.